I suppose what I desire most is anyone's want for companionship. I am undeserving. I suppose is that I suppose what I desire most. I suppose what I desire most. I suppose what I desire most is anyone's want for companionship. I am undeserving. I suppose if I was asleep, I was not aware. If I was asleep, I was simply dreaming. I suppose what I desire most is anyone's want for my companionship. I am undeserving. I suppose if I was asleep, I was not aware. If I was asleep, I was simply dreaming. I suppose when you think about something long enough, you believe in what you want to believe. I suppose the touching of skin, stretching of limbs were laced with sympathy for my lonesome. Indeed, I am lonely. Rotting in my girl child body, I slowly rip my hair out one by one. Push it in a little deeper, push what in I couldn't see. At peace with slumber and pretense, girl child surpasses being girl child, but the adult does not quite exist, therefore girl child ceases to perish, but girl child must endure a slow and steady rotting of the private self. Norin is proposing her demos, but she falters at the thought she, girl child, is still in debt to those who has and or who she believes to have wronged her. She cares for death. But she chooses to not choose her death as she would not be able to punish herself to punish herself. Adult child me can sit still, revert into my girl child to endure any unwanted circumstances. What does it mean to prostrate myself? I romanticize my emotion, further dehumanizing myself. Only a lover's first kiss can wake her up, being under the enchantment of you. Solitude is where child, girl child reside, resides, not like in a cave that's dark and cold and damp and echoey. Lit by a campfire, girl child resides in her comfort. Lit up by campfire, girl child resides in her comfort. Provided by those she resent, taken greedily in unapologetically by her, like I said, she sung. She should be punished. Fantasies of a rape, sometimes I think about rape, it becomes a fantasy, I'm terrified of myself. To not arouse your suspicion. Assault, survival, aftermath. Children, adult, bend low, prostrate the self, bend low, prostrate the self. Bend down, refuse the touch, but abide to the touch. I'm not always here to spit out facts. Maybe he spat in my mouth, ripping my skin away, leaving a spot of yummy, throbbing, warm flesh. A coherence to assault, wouldn't that be nice? Evidence. The act wasn't violent in physically, but violent in theory. The intentions remain unclear. The body and the girl child should remain indisposed. My apologies, she may not attend to you. Do you recreate the violence or confront the aftermath? How do you evolve rape? Joke to 